Well, hello again everyone. You know, earlier I made this video and stuff. Um, today I'm planting some flowers. So, um, you know, I, feel, I said why not continue on with these, um, these other ones that I need to um, plant as well. So as you see, earlier I plant this, that one over there. Which is the, um, the foxy glove. You know, the, um, the Domination white, and I'll show you a bit in a minute why they really probably call it the domination white, you know. But yeah, anyway, I thought that I continue on with this and share this as I had this um these other flowers to plant, you know. And I say why not, you know, you know, continue on the journey and share this beautiful content. And same thing, as you see, I was able to get more um babies off this one, but you know, what I mean, why not, you know. Why not capitalize on it? You know, this wasn't that expensive, it was like four ninety eight, so basically five dollars. It's called tick seed. You know, it's all a perennial again. You know, but it's just beautiful. I can tell that butterflies and bees gonna like this already. But yeah. You know, one, two, three, four more new babies with root on it. And you know, and they, if you add it, inspiration continues on the um Capitalizing on new new plants continue. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, I already prepared the space as you see with my mixture that I was using earlier. And yeah, I'm just gonna con come in here, you know, I dig it, you know, um add new soil in it so that it can um grow freely in this new soil that I create and um mix. So yeah, I'm just putting her in here and I'm just add new soil around it. Make it easy and quick. And yeah, this is just gonna take off establishing this in this area. And as you see this whole area is clean right now. If you remember in previous video that I uh, that I made and share. That I use the um as you see um all these cardboard pieces of cardboard. This was all the um the cardboard that I spread in previous videos. So go check out those videos on my YouTube channel and you can see the process of where I put this cardboard. You know, 2013 I came here, all this area was grass, just like here, you know what I mean? And I cleaned this area and create this garden space. And I was battling with, with it for years, trying to keep it clean. But that cardboard um, thing that I did, um, you know, last season was the greatest. I mean, it kind of looks a little messy right now, as you see, but these are just kind of compost back in the side. But as you see, no weed, you know, so that was the purpose of it, to prevent weed. The mission was to continue with it and um, you know add new soil which I did add some and the cardboard then mulch and then you know the process continue. I didn't get around to do all of that that season but as you see I still get, didn't get any weed even though the cardboard um, you know it kind of moved. So yeah it's a beautiful thing and um, I'm excited about this, all these extra plants and how much I can create these same you know pattern of these same species along the way. Same thing I'm gonna plant these in little pots and get them started and then transplant them as I go. So yeah make this whole area just a one beautiful you know further on more I share some vegetable content. I'm gonna be planting a lot of vegetables this season as well. Same thing here this one right here. Another beautiful plant all healthy same thing I was able to get I could continue but as you see it didn't have a lot you know so I didn't want to strip it too much but I was able to get these and you definitely want to get them with root on it you know it doesn't make sense to try to take it off and it doesn't have root it's just gonna be more harder to establish sure you can always put you know um, cuttings in water or something or germinate it that way but this already have the root just gonna be easy when I put it in my new soil medium and it's just gonna take quick in no time you know and I have extra plants but yeah it's a beautiful thing and um, I'm excited about this excited about all these new plants and finally getting the air hole beautiful you know I definitely want to give it nice new me medium of this soil 
so that they can spread as you see this is more like clayish type of soil it's nice soil you know but you know it's eventually it will bond up if you don't give it more um you know nice mixture soil like this which i have my um in my wheelbarrow here i'm using my hand like i said i have all different garden tool to be you know scooping out the soil but why not you know be one with the soil right and yeah so that them it's a beautiful thing and here we continue we move my machete i have so much machete as i as i said in previous video as well i have lost my first machete i brought here in 2013 that's just a um simple one these are some of my newer ones and i look to sharpen them soon so i will share some content on that and video of sharpening and machete in the best way so these i'm excited about you know martindale british made england nice machete you know so i'm looking forward to sharpen these and have my um hunting and i have more i have the hooky version you know it's gonna be some exciting moment i like using this for now because it's, it's simple it's a plastic angle so it was kind of broken so i use the rubber to keep it firm as you see but it's pretty sharp you know i sharpen it earlier I use it more like in areas, you know, to chop. A lot of time there's gravels around the area, so, you know, you can beat this one up a bit more. But yeah, it's exciting. I'm going to look to share some videos on those. But yeah, I have this one coming out from here now. This is a ground cover. So I'm, I'm, I didn't take any shooting or any, um, to say any babies from this one. Because it's really, really just two pieces. You know, so it's not really that much of a foliage, you know, or... <laughs> you know it's not that rich and not that thick so i'm gonna just leave this one to spread some more and then take clippings off it eventually they, they, they advertise it as a ground cover so i'm looking forward for it to um yeah it's called creeping flock so you know um hopefully creep and look at the colors of it so you know so i'm looking for it to um establish and um you know do more new colors in it as you see it's more um more variety or maybe this is different species mixed together but i'm, I'm hoping this continues spread so i can use it to be a ground cover for the whole area so i'll put her right here in a beautiful new home and you know cover it up with nice same thing again my nice new mix medium mix get it nice and compact around it you know so that you have all this new soil to spread and um, germinate more new new shoot along the way it's a ground cover so i'm hoping for it to continue to spread but yeah as you see earlier my beautiful one that i plant here so excited again At least some of the video of my planting of my different flower. It's always good to just take off these extra dead ones, you know, these extra dead leaves. Just make more room for new, new springing to come, and you know, make the plant more beautiful anyway and more fresh, you know, instead of all these extra dry leaves that not gonna do much, you know, it's already dried. They're not gonna regrow so it's good to strip them off this is some type of lily oh it's pretty stuck in the pot all right here we go you know this time that i have you know messed with this area and kind of you know if you see it kind of compact you can always do this and free it up a bit so that you know as you see all that new growth so that you can um you know take to the new soil pretty quick and easy if you see you don't want to damage it too much but as you see these are already coming out so in no time this is gonna take it's a species of lily forget the name actually 
you see it's, it's kind of it's kind of like a, a rose as well too as you see it's kind of in the rose form you know they say the butterfly really love it a lot so um you know i'm excited about this one as well and i didn't take any clippings i'm just hoping that you know the bulb and the road from it keeps spreading so i'm gonna put her in here you know and hopefully i can create this whole area of just this beautiful lily are the hummingbirds. I can already tell that hummingbirds gonna love this. I can see the, the all that um, beautiful pollen inside of it, you know. So from the butterfly to the hummingbird, it's gonna love this, and that's what we all about, you know. That's what the Admon Garden is about, you know, creating beautiful plants and um, also feeding nature, you know. What I mean, and for the creatures and those beautiful animals. Yeah, I already create my space as I did in the previous one. Ready to go. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now imagine this year a few few more months from now. And just imagine this year and next season. You know? I take this year here and um some of the other ones didn't have their own label. You know. It's kind of have a, a look of clipping um around it as you see it's like that. So I just kinda fold it under and push it out. No 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 big deal. I'm sure a lot of people would figure that out. But yeah, it's good sometimes to just mark it so that you can um, have an idea what plant is there. These I can reuse, as um, especially these smaller ones. I can reuse for my um, all my babies. You see that? Beautiful thing, huh? So all these new shoots, I can replant. It's just gonna be a wonderful thing, you know, all this new plant that I'm gonna create. This area I'm gonna put some lily. I already have the bulb, so I'm just always prepping the area and giving myself an idea where I'm gonna put them in the perimeter. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Feeling well accomplished right here at the lakefront. Yeah, man, garden and arts TV, you know. Do remember to like and share, subscribe to my channel and always um, you know, ring the bell for the notification so that you can get um, these videos first and when I upload it. Alright, peace and love to the people of the earth and blessed love and love. Peace.